Hey everybody, Pookie TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license. No shot on his 21st birthday. Uh, no rental. He ain't rented nothing. He ain't nothing. So everything that we do and it's easy to us, his kids is never going to see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for your time. Hey everybody, Booker TV X, Common Sense. More and more evidence is coming out. My dad, Bo Brock, I, and FBG Duck. Senseless shit, man. To us, probably, but to everybody, not. But senseless. I don't understand. People don't understand. We in a new world. Everything you do is recorded and monitored. Everything, especially if you out in public. They done followed these niggas from when they left the steps. Hopped in a goddamn car, followed their route all the way to, to the fucking Gold Coast. They said the the, 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 <laughs> the police said they jumped out down the stairs like they was like a fireman when he about to go save a house. You know how they come down that damn pole. Yeah, he, that's how them niggas came down. <sighs> With regular clothes on. In the car that was rented, they go down there, have a goddamn shootout on camera. Hop back in the same goddamn car. Drive the same path back home. Keep the car around. Only time the car. They got the man's ID, his uh, Instagram account messages, or no password. And plus, hold on. Why the fuck would you leave your Instagram account information? On a piece of paper. Who does that? Who fucking does that? You can't remember your shit? You can't put it in your notes or nothing? You can't remember this is 1992. That's not even a kicker. A couple days after, Old Black decides to do an interview. Yeah, man. He starts to do an interview. You got Boss Top talking, pointing at people. And then the cars that was used in the murder is there. They got shoes on with uh, duck on it.
These niggas just ain't too bright. They just ain't too damn bright. They ain't. I mean, not only that, they got text messages, phone pinging off of everywhere. And on top of that, they said that Vaughn put out the hit. The first it was for 50, and then he upped it to 100,000. Facing a death penalty. With nothing. With nothing. Dirk ain't gonna save him. Death, I mean, uh, Vaughn passed away, so. Dirk ain't gonna save him. Dirk trying to distance himself away from all that shit. Chief Keith ain't gonna save him. So the attorneys and shit who go on, I hope they ain't no public defender, because if they do, shit, they better plan a goddamn escape. Again, kids, another example. I mean, how many do you need? These niggas acting like firefighters. Jumped downstairs, hopped in a car, drove the route, Probably message each other, texting each other, talking to each other, meeting up and, and directing each other to jump out, shoot up the goddamn place, kill the nigga, jump back in the car, and drive the same route back home and park your car. Goddamn. How stupid can niggas be? And then they do a video. A goddamn interview with the murder cars right there. Oh, man, shit. <sighs> who raised y'all? Like, who? Like, did y'all just already knew y'all was crash test dummies, or? Like, I don't get it. I don't care about some of these young people throw their life away over stupid shit. <sighs> these niggas out there don't always smoking on duck and they sitting next to the car because it's, that's warning in the goddamn murder. And then when the police find the car, they got a troll for the evidence. You niggas don't know how to do that. I don't know what y'all thinking. This ain't the goddamn 70s, man. You can't just expect to get, get away with everything. <sighs> y'all leaving. Keep, keep, y'all leaving clues to your own detriment, man. You leaving a trail at that point right back to your dumb ass. I'm trying to understand what y'all be doing, man. I just don't get it. I just don't fucking get it. <sighs> y'all really spend y'all goddamn life in jail, in prison, instead of just saying no. Do y'all shit away. Kids, pay attention. Don't go down that route. R.I.P. to Duck. R.I.P. to Vaughn. Condolences to both sides. But some shit gotta change. Shit gotta change, man, because y'all making it too easy. Y'all might just stay there at the scene and wait. <laughs> You're doing it anyway. Just stay at the scene and goddamn wait. And tell the cop, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did that shit. Because you're doing it anyway. Young people use this as a lesson. 
streets is bullshit. Common sense.